Hello, my name is Randy Hudson. I'm a graduate research assistant at the Electronic Visualization Lab at the University of Illinois at Chicago. My job for SoftTech in this project was to teach introductory computer graphics to Tony Scott of the AC Nielsen Company. Hello, my name is Tony Scott. I'm a software engineer with AC Nielsen's Advanced Information Technology Center. I came to SoftTech to learn enough about computer graphics to apply data visualization techniques in analyzing some uh, data for my company. The data we used here as part of uh, this learning process relates to benchmarks that were done using multiprocessor supercomputers. Um, however, the techniques are general enough that I should be able to take back and apply to the marketing data that is an integral part of Nielsen's business. What we have here is a three-dimensional surface plot using some benchmark information taken from an I.O. benchmark run on a multiprocessor computer. The yellow surfaces indicate completion times for the benchmark while the computer was in an eight processor configuration. The blue surface indicates a 16 processor configuration. Execution time on the y-axis here tells us that the two different processor configurations made very little difference to the benchmark. That's why the yellow and blue planes up here and the yellow and blue planes down there are so close together. However, the gap between these two sets of planes tells us that another variable, namely the block size used during the I.O. benchmark, makes a great deal of difference. The two upper planes indicate uh, the I.O. benchmark running with a large uh, data block size and the lower planes with a small data block size. I look forward to applying the techniques I encountered here to uh, visualizing the marketing research data that uh, Nielsen deals in. Currently we do a great deal of analysis of data um, using more uh, traditional um, statistical analysis techniques. Um, I feel that a graphical representation um, has the ability to convey more uh, information more quickly um, in a more intuitive fashion and uh, certainly will take what I've learned here and apply it to that end.